Hello and welcome back to B-Boss Kitchen. Or maybe I should say B-Boss Really Busy Kitchen today. Have you ever heard the old saying, busy as a cat on a hot tin roof? Or having too many irons in the fire? Or having so much going on you can't shake a stick at it? Well, that would be me today. I am going to make a cake for you. But I'm in the process. I have made more of my Almond Joyce Deluxe Candies that I have to complete. I have to make my caramel for that, which I'm not going to include that in this video. But we're having a get-together tonight at my son and daughter-in-law's. Some of our church family and friends are gathering. And I'm making the Zuppa Toscana soup for that also. And I'll be making some yeast rolls for it. So I've got a lot on my plate for today. But I did want to share with you my cake that I'm going to make. Uh, it doesn't really have a name. An old, old friend of mine years ago, it was a lady that I did her hair. Uh, she's passed away now, but she shared this recipe with me, and it's just, it's uh, a pineapple cake. It has pineapple between the layers, and then it has a fluffy white frosting on the outside that's very similar to the seven-minute frosting, or it's like marshmallow cream. So that's the cake that I'm going to make to take this evening. So... I want to share that recipe with you. Uh, my cake is the basic cake that I usually make. I'm going to make four layers with it, but I'm going to get that started and get it in the oven. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to put a stick of butter and a half a cup of Crisco. And I'm going to cream that. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of sugar and a half a cup of Crisco. It's a total of a cup of shortening here with the butter and the shortening. I'm going to cream that. Now I'm going to add two cups of sugar and I'm going to beat that till it's real creamy and fluffy. Okay, that's nice and fluffy and creamy. And so now I'm going to add four eggs, one at a time, beating after each one of them. Okay, and now I want to scrape down the sides of the bowl and give it one more mix. Okay, now I'm going to start adding my flour mixture along with my milk, which it's flour, bacon powder, and salt. And I'm going to do about a third. And as I've always said in my videos, you always begin and end with your flour mixture. So I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add half of my milk, which is a cup of milk, but I'm going to add about half of that and give that a mix. I'm going to add about half of the flour mixture that's left there and mix that in. Add the remaining milk and mix it. And now I'm going to add the rest of the flour and give that a mix. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and mix that in. Now I want to scrape down the sides of my bowl. And now I'm going to give it one final mix to get everything completely mixed together. Okay, I'm ready to spoon the batter up into my pans. I have already prepared my pans. I've sprayed them with Baker's Joy. And so I have four, and I'm going to put my batter in and get these in the oven. Okay, now I'm just going to shake the batter around to level it out in the pans. If any of you out there are prayer warriors, I would covet your prayers for a friend of mine that gave me the yard eggs. His name is Daryl. 
Daryl Dixon. And his wife sent me a text last week saying that he had been really sick. He had COVID, finally went to the hospital and was admitted and has pneumonia. And he's really having a time of it. So please lift his name up in prayer. It would be so appreciated. Okay, I think my batter is all pretty well even. And so I'm going to pop these in the oven and bake them at 350 degrees. And then I will take them out and put them on a cooling rack. And I'll prepare the rest of the frosting that will be going on this. So I'll be back. Okay, my cakes are done. And so now I'm going to turn them out onto a cooling rack to let them cool. After these have cooled for a bit, then I'll make the, the pineapple filling that will go in between the layers and the frosting that goes on the outside. And I will show you when I get to that step. So stay tuned. Okay, my cakes have cooled now and I'm going to go ahead and make the pineapple filling that I'm going to put in between the layers. So let's get started and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, I'm going to use two cans of, of crushed pineapple. That's good right there. That's about a cup and two-thirds. I mean a can and two-thirds. So about one and two-thirds can of pineapple. To that I'm going to add about three-fourths cup of sugar. I'm going to turn my heat on and a half a stick of butter and the juice of half of a lemon. I want this to get hot and come to a boil and then I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it a little bit. You want to keep stirring this. You don't want it to stick and scorch. So I think my butter has melted now and so now I'm going to add my cornstarch to this and cook it and I've just Mixed up some cornstarch and my juice reamer here. Pour that in and it was about a tablespoon of cornstarch with enough water to um, get it to a pouring consistency. So I'm just going to cook this until it thickens a little bit and cooks the cornstarch. I think I may need to add just a little bit more cornstarch. Just enough water so that I can pour it. That's probably a total of about one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. That's a better consistency. Okay, I think I have got that cooked enough and that's a good consistency. I don't want it too thin, but I don't want it too thick either. So, take it off the heat. Okay, let's start adding these to the layers. You don't want to go to all the way to the edge because of the frosting that's going to be going on the outside. You don't want the pineapple bleeding through into that. So you want to go about a half inch, I guess, quarter of an inch to a half inch from the edge because the next layer is going to press it down. Press it down a little bit because it's going to be a tall cake. Okay, now to make the fluffy white frosting, you're going to need, I'm doing for this cake, I'm, I'm doing my recipe in half. So I'm putting three fourths cup of sugar in a saucepan a fourth of a cup of Cairo syrup and two tablespoons of water. I'm taking two egg whites and I'm going to beat those until they're stiff and I'm going to do that before I cook my syrup. So I'm going to add just a dash of salt to my egg whites. 
This was actually three egg whites, not two. I decided to do three instead of two. And now I've got my syrup. I'm, I've got it heating up. And so I'm going to cook my syrup to a softball stage, which is 240 degrees. So I'm going to get this cooking. It won't take it very long. I'll put my thermometer in to monitor the temperature. Okay, that says it's 240. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And now we'll frost the cake. Clean the edges of my plate and get all the crumbs off. Okay. You're going to form a circle on the top. This is a very showy, beautiful cake. Okay, and now we're going to start frosting the sides. Of my pineapple and that goes in the center. That concludes my video of making my cake. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's a beautiful cake. It is a delicious cake. And I will post the recipe in the description box below. I would like to ask you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, would you please subscribe? Give me a thumbs up. Click on the bell so you'll get a notification when I post another video. And leave me a comment. It's been so great to be with you again. And I still have a lot of work to do. So, until the next time, this is Beba saying, May the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we meet again, I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you really soon. Bye. Well, I could not end this video without doing a taste test for you. So, here goes. You can see how this looks with the pineapple in between the layers and the fluffy frosting on the outside that is just so delicious. So, let me do a taste test for you now. Mmm. That's so good. The pineapple makes the cake very moist. And it's not overly sweet. It is so delicious. And the white frosting. Mmm. It's like marshmallow cream. I hope you'll try my recipe. I think you would like it. It is quite delicious. Take care. Bake a cake. And enjoy it. Goodbye.